Sup? Nice chest. You know the importance of storing your items. In fact, every player should know how to properly store their items if they hope to survive. But what if we added more chests? In fact, let's add 10 chests that everyone wants in Minecraft. We're using a cleverly made data pack to change up the game once again. And this time, every new chest we add will greatly help improve our survival odds and storage space. Some may even help keep your items hidden. Number 1. Obsidian Chest you know what really sucks more than anything, Sub? It's not just having your items stolen, but when your chests are destroyed too. You see, it's all well and good taking one item out of a chest at once. But if you destroy the chest while it's still full, it'll spew out the items everywhere. Perhaps encasing the chest in some sort of indestructible material will help. What block do we know that stops explosive damage? That's right, Sub. Obsidian. The obsidian chest would be created with eight blocks of obsidian surrounding a regular chest. This obsidian chest would have a dark purple texture and would not be destroyed by explosions or by players whacking it with their hand. In fact, it's gonna take at least a diamond pickaxe to get rid of one of these. And it'll take at least 20 seconds to break. This is secure as secure can be and gives you plenty of time to know if someone's trying to take it. Of course, this does mean if you ever need to move it yourself, it could take a while. So make sure when you first place it down, it's somewhere that counts. Number 2. Invisit Chest What's another big issue with players finding your chest up? Well, think about it. Players usually open a chest whenever they see it. So what if they can't see it at all? I'm not talking about any hidden chest with secret redstone entrances or anything. Invisibility potions exist within the game, so surely it would make sense if you could add this effect to your chests, either by surrounding the chest with invisibility potions, or using a splash potion directly on the chest block itself. Players will now no longer be able to see any evidence that a chest was ever there. Of course, they won't be able to walk through it, so don't leave it out in the open or they might figure it out. You can access this chest just like any other, provided you click in the right spot that is hey sub make sure to check out the link in the description to buy mine coins for minecraft bedrock edition from g2a number three magma chest the nether has been updated, and so too should chests in my opinion. Chests are one of the oldest blocks in the game after all. I think they deserve a nether variant. Magma chests would be crafted by surrounding a chest with magma blocks. This would cause any who try to touch it, or open it, to burn. Similar to a fire aspect sword. The only way to get into this hot topic chest? You've got to use a fire resistance potion. We'll pour a bucket of water over it to turn it back into a normal chest. Of course, the water thing won't work deep down in the nether, so you best keep your potion stocked up. These would be awesome to find in various nether generations, like the fortress and the bastion structures. Number 4. Chorus Chest Hey, Sub! I think Steve is looting some of your normal chests back on the overworld. It sucks that you can't get there quicker to stop him. It's not like chests can protect themselves or even try to escape the danger. Unless... You're in the end right now, Sub. Consider gathering some chorus fruit and bring them home. Surround your chest with them to create a chorus chest. The fruit alone has the power to teleport a user a certain amount of blocks away, randomly. A chorus chest would do the same thing, but only when opened. It'll show the inventory for a brief second before randomly teleporting to a new location. This means that anytime Steve is snooping around, these chests will cause him to get really confused as they disappear one by one. Perhaps this chest specifically needs a little work, though. How are you yourself supposed to access it? Hmm. Number 5. Locked Chest 
This is one that I think most of us can agree isn't all that ridiculous. Having a lock on your chest would be hugely beneficial and add another layer to item stealing. First, the player would need a craft a key and padlock, two new game items. Crafting the padlock with the chest creates the lock chest, and right-clicking your key on it will set that key as the master key for that chest. The key will display a special code, too. That means that you, and only you, hold the key to this chest. If that item gets destroyed, no one will ever be able to access the locked chest. They could always destroy it, but the locked chest does not drop items when destroyed. Similar to a shulker box, it drops as an item. While it can't be placed down again, it'll only ever be able to be opened by the specific key you made, Sub. You could always try to replicate your key, but each one is given a very unique name as a code, which would be hard to remember unless noted down. To create a new key, you would use a name tag on a clear key to make it the master key to your locked chest. For now, you can use these to keep all your valuables safe and never need to worry about Steve getting in. Yes, make sure to keep your key somewhere safe. Maybe in a locked chest. Haha, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Number 6. Lodestone Chest A new block added in the Nether update are lodestones. These things are perfect for placing near tricky-to-find locations. Tapping one with a compass will actually pin the compass to that location, rather than your spawn point. A big thing with hidden chests, of course, is remembering where you put them. With each dimension expanding outward, there are hundreds of thousands of locations where your chest could be. Surrounding a chest with lodestones would create a lodestone chest. Right-clicking it would also set your compass to track the location. This way you, and only you, can find your hidden loot. That is, unless someone kills you. But then you wouldn't be that much of a pro, would you, Sub? Hey, you guys at home, not thought about using lodestones in your world yet? Well, maybe now you can. Like this video if you want us to show you more awesome things you can do with newly added Minecraft blocks. Can we get to 50,000 likes? I think we might. Number 7. Combination Chest Better than a lock, how about a password? Exactly! Special combination! Using some repeaters and maybe some iron nuggets, you would be able to create a code lock. This can be placed onto any chest and you'll be prompted to enter a pin. Think of a number that isn't too obvious. Not your favorite number, not your age, not your date of birth. And definitely not 1, 2, 3, 4. Make it random so no players will be able to guess it except you. Now you can technically share the password with trusted players too. And not need to worry about griefers snooping around your stuff. Number 8. Quad Chests we have a single and double chest after all, so why not? For increased storage space, it should have it so that placing four chests together creates an even larger chest. This would probably help players with bulk storage for the most. I'm talking about players who have been surviving in their survival world for months or even years. They'll have so many items that maybe double chests will be getting a tad tiresome for them. Number 9. Walking Chest Nice chest you have there, but you better keep your eyes on it. Oh, who am I kidding? It's not like it's going to walk away, right? Uh, sub? This is the walking chest, probably encountered in random generations like strongholds and dungeons. They would hold items much like regular loot chests, but would be able to roam around and even flee when they see a player. Like the enchanted storage boxes they are, they don't want you getting it all in their precious gear, so you'd have to chase them down, adding a whole new dynamic to looting. Number 10. Infinite Chest the final chest is a bit surprising, but it would solve every player's storage needs for as long as they live. With eight nether stars, you can surround an ender chest to create the infinite chest. This is the god tier chest that would only be achievable by the strongest of players, and it would permanently protect any item they ever get. 
I mean, they deserve it if they're able to kill eight withers in order to craft this thing. The infinite chest uses the power of other dimensions to create an infinite storage. Basically, a chest you could scroll down and store items in forever. Just like an ender chest, it can only be accessed by you. This one's foolproof, I'm sure. Steve wouldn't be able to open it, access it, or even blow it up. It's all your sub. Something tells me Mojang won't add something like this. But I know a lot of players out there that would love something like this. Hey, I'd love something like this. What about you guys at home? Would you? Let us know in the comments if you would want to see any of these chests in the game. And let us know what chest types you would add to the game.